All right, uh, we're gonna be making the worm and wheel gear today. My hands probably that in the way. Back a little bit. I'm a bunch of junk on my desk. All right. So, worm and wheel gear first. I'm gonna use the same setup we had yesterday with the bevel gear. Okay, so I got my C plate, base plate, and this little plate here. I already left the bearings and pop rivets in place. All right. So I'm going to add the other bearings and pop rivets over here so that we can have our wheel and our worm added to it. Alright, so first, again, bearing here. And remember with the bearings, pop rivets need to go on the opposite side. So... Uh, fingers away. All right, so that popped in there. Get it popped, pop rivet. <laughs> Uh, not funny. All right, so um, got the first one in, the second one. So a little, if you're having trouble, sometimes it's easier to put them in separate, and then sometimes it's not. There we go. Alright, it's the first bearing in place. That took all of 45 seconds. Um, the second one, again, to keep it sturdier, if you overlap it, it holds it in a lot more efficiently. Okay, so, overlapping tends to. First one. The second one in there. All right, now let you get a new one. As you can see, that one gave me a lot of trouble. Let's try this one. Come on. There we go. Boom. Popped in. Alright. So, pop rivets. Put those in there. Alright. Then we're going to insert the wheel, or the worm. So, put this axle in here. You need to kind of hold... Does it not fit? Oh, jeez. Jeez, please, Grandma. First, you need to make sure your worm fits in here. All right, then hold it, as you can see here, in place. Slide this axle through, and see it goes through there. Okay. Now, if you want, I'm going to put a spacer in here so that 
it kind of doesn't have much room to jiggle around. Alright, so it has a little bit, but not a lot. Put a spacer on the outside and the collar. Tighten the collar up. Alright. And you may want to do the same to this side as well so that it doesn't pull itself out. Okay. Well, I can, again, spacer, collar, tighten. So we got us a turning wheel there. Now, or turning worm, excuse me. Now for our wheel. As you can see, I even put it in there wrong. I'm not going to be able to have this crank here and turn it because it's going to stop. So I'm just going to put a bevel gear as my crank. And then the collar. So it's okay to mess up sometimes. Alright, so turning that. And you want your wheel to sit again. Right on top there. This one's pretty tight already. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave it at that, but I'll put the collar on back here. Spin this around. So, a little worm and wheel there. Now, you can see that this has a high amount of torque. Okay, with you turning this, now it's a little difficult to turn. Um, and with that, the high amount there is spinning that very slowly. Okay, um, so it creates a high torque and low speed. And it's also not reversible. Like, I can't turn this wheel here. I mean, it's sliding because of the room in there, but if there was no room, it's not allowed to turn. So it's not reversible. All right. We'll be making this tomorrow. See you then.